All right, we're back at the Trip Trap Bar. An hour and forty, uh, hour and twenty-two minutes left. He's <laughs> asleep, you fucking idiot. We're closed. Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. <laughs> oh, come on in, buddy. Oh, man, this is all going to go down. What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Oh man, this is all not gonna be good, man. I could just I want feel a it. drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says or what you say? Grant, really, you you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Molly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> that do it high off his ass. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Oh, damn. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. I'm talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Look, man. Yeah. Don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? You think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away, though, didn't they? Yeah, they Whatever. did. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. Oh, I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith, and after we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Friend Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. It's just a quick slug. I'm not gonna hurt anybody, and then we'll, you know, help you out with your thing. I'm running out of time, Grant. Yeah, I am. Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! Damn, dude. I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! Oh, come on, man. What more do you want? What man. else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. What this news? This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. 
I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. Oh shit, man. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. Oh man, come on. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? Man, look. He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. Yeah. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Granny. Yeah, man, calm down. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Thanks for that. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Eh... Grim won't be remember this. <laughs> All right, that's good to know. He won't remember this. And she is out. <sighs> Holly. Examine the cot. Oh, that's her shit. That's the shit. Damn. I gotta do it without waking her. Oh, fucking hell. How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do this? Oh, crap. What's this? Oh, fucking hell, yes! <laughs> like, oh, yes. Alright. Whew. Oh, fuck, man. <laughs> oh, please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. Please don't. That you, Woody? Uh, Woody? Is that you? Woody? Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. All right. Whew. All right. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much, but a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. Oh, man. I think she's waking up, man. I'm not liking this. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. Just go back to sleep, Holly. <laughs> ah, the book. All right, let's check the book out. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. He's just, he's trying to do what's right. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... Uh, I guess I'll take your word for it. 
Oh, fucking hell! What's up with the fucking phone? If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. But, which one? Shit! Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Pick up the phone! Pick up the phone! Snow? Hey, I just wanted to see how it was going. Did you find anything? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. Not sure which one is the witch. Yeah, though. man. Oh, shit. Strange. These people keep cropping up. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long it'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I oh, man. up there to check on things. Bluebeard. Or you could try at the Tweedles office. Just make it quick. Huh. We don't have a lot of time. I'll head over to Crane's apartment. See what I can find there. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. Okay. In the meantime, I'll see what I can do on this end. Okay. Good luck, Bigby. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. Alright. Whew. <sighs> All right, man. So this is kind of the the reason I'm heading up to Crane's office because I don't want to run a twill twill D and twill dumb. I feel like if I get go over there, I'll get into a fight, and I want to try to stay away from fighting. You know, with my arm being the way it is, See, I only got less than everything. Hour. What are you try to burn? I tried to stop him, but I got here too late. He wouldn't listen to me. Threatened to strangle me if I got too close. Why would Bluebeard come here just to burn all of Crane's stuff? Uh, what is this? A burnt, burnt clock? Uh, burnt photo. Something here I could use to find him. There isn't now. What a waste of fucking time. What now? Did you find any information about the witch at the trip trap? Just this. I don't know which one she is, but to start, maybe I can find more at the Tweedle's office. It's worth a try. I'd better go fill Miss White in on the circumstances. She's going to be very disappointed. Oh <laughs> shit, luck. Damn, so I wasted time coming here. Time I don't have time uh time I don't have. So now I gotta run over to the uh fucking twiddle the uh twiddle's office and find out what information I can find out there. Also I gotta find out uh <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten. I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? Uh... D or Dumb? You seen Crane around? Not around here. I saw him leave the woodlands earlier, but I'm not supposed to bother him. I don't really think he likes me. It's been uh, a quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Mm. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure. Thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh... Well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right. You're the sheriff. <laughs> I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Uh... I mean, they never told me not to let you in. 
It's official Fabled Town business. Don't worry. Right. I mean, that was kind of a dick move, though. Like, can you pick up the cigarette? Ah, shit. Alright. Uh, inbox. Let's check this. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dumb. He actually mailed this? They do have their quirks. <sighs> this is pointless. Uh, talk to Flycatcher. Inbox. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. Couple of freaks. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. What do you, How mean? Do you mean they help people? They're detectives. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way D explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? For who? All kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Oh, shh. Uh, lollipops? What's this? Cigar bots? Let me talk to Flycatcher, because he, he seems I'm like sure he knows. your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Alright, that was pointless. Anything over here? Anything? Oh, 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 oh. What the fuck is this? Is that me? Ah, oh, that's. Why? Let's see if they got a file on a crane. And Cinderella Crane. Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Donkey skin. That's the girl that we met in the first episode. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Hmm. See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great. They helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. Hmm. Uh, let's check out everything else. Check out... Detective Brannigan. Keep an eye on her. Brannigan. Let's check out Beauty's file. This is worse than I thought. Shit. Uh, looks like Beauty's in trouble. Cinderella. I don't think we've seen Cinderella all game. Find anything? Not what I need. What, what if? What if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you know, like when I think about it, you guys aren't that different. We you are. Help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. Is that what you think, Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... Oh, fuck. You want to know what this is? 
This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns! I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Gren both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? I didn't mean to... There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking All for. Alright, so Bippy got a little mad and he got a little blood on his... Shit. Oh, damn it, I should have checked the fucking cigar thing. Fuck! I knew I should have checked the cigar thing, but nope. Didn't think to. Wow. Huh, what's that? Hmm. Package. Hold for BCW. Hmm. What are you looking for exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Hmm. What's this? What's the scale? Fucking check it. I don't know why it's not checking stuff out. Shit. Package. Crooked man? Delivered to a crooked man. Oh, For the... your collection. What is that? No idea. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. I think that has something to do with snow. I mean, not snow, uh, beauty. Uh, uh, this one. Crooked Man again. I'm sorry, I know I'm late. I'll get it to you soon. Ichabod Crane. Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that is? Uh, take it. I want to take the money. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Uh, what about this? This other package. Butcher. What is this stuff? And this last one over here. What's this? JD. JD. Was that one of the initials in the uh, book? The book. Yeah, of course it's a book. This doesn't really tell us much. Wait a minute. Hey, Bigby. Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Since Crane let me go, I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. I don't want to work with bad people, you know? You and Snow, you're nice. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. Uh -oh. Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. No, it's not. Anti Greenleaf. A G. This is it. Let's see. 
Call the business office. Tell Snow I'm heading to this address. Have her meet me there. Oh shit, man. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to call her myself. Fuck. I did not want to do that. I did not want to put the responsibility on him. Shit. I I, I think that was a mistake. I really think that was a mistake. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, okay. Me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Fuck. Fuck. Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. Well, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. Hmm. <laughs> Dorothy's a girl's name, you know. And, uh, if... If I was any less secure in my manhood, I might take it as an insult. What's your name? Rachel. What's yours? Just so... we're not strangers. Well, I'm the sheriff, and this is my partner. Boss. <laughs> God damn, boss. Nice to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there something you want? I don't think I can really help you. Maybe come back in the morning. Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Huh. Okay, Sheriff. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. You could still be here. Uh, look, stove. No one's been over all night, so... Look at this picture. Is that your mom? Uh-huh. Huh. huh. Alright, so they're not the same person. I was... Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. <laughs> huh. Deer skull. That your was... Your mom a hunter? Oh, no. She never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain. I think. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Hmm. Something else, man. It's, it's, it's tree? What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Hmm. I really wish I would have made it here on time. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. Closet. Delivered to a butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the Butcher. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Hmm. Nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? Hmm. Man, I wish I would have got here earlier. Fuck. 
I saw a spider over there yesterday. Part oh. Two. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Please? Fuck. Man, really wish I would. Whoa! Hello. Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. you don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Look, I'm already grounded. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble. Oh, what the fuck? Ain't it great, Leaf? It hurts when you do it that fast. Ah. Uh. Alright. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. Alright, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is. I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Brain could be hollow bones what? tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. So what? What the hell, man? What are you doing? That doesn't mean I can tell you anything. What? Why? You have friends, don't you? Please, Greenleaf. Crane is a murderer, and he's escaping. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something, yeah, man. we can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Uh, what's going on here? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! Whoa, what the fuck was that? How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, okay. where do you think they could oh, don't go? Don't give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. Yes. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling okay. it. Okay. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck nah, people's nah, lives. Nah, 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 hold on. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, Trust come me, on. No one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. <laughs> Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. Oh, no, come on, no, man. Look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. 
Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right if no, it was... man, what the hell? Big B. Shh. Please, Sheriff. Today's your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble. And we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. You get to keep your fucking tree. Yes. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. <laughs> so what? Are moving trucks gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. I think I made the right choice here. I think I did. Whew, fuck. I made the right choice. Snow might not like it. She wanted me to burn down the fucking tree, but burning down a tree was a bad idea. Let's make her into an asset instead of an enemy. Alright, I gotta stop because uh, once again I made this video way too long. Deuces.